Hey guys, Char here, and welcome back to another Top 5. And for today's Top 5, we are going to be doing the Top 5 recording apps for Android. Um, I, I don't think these apps are on iOS, I'm pretty sure, but these are only for Android. So if you've been looking for apps to screen record your phone, when I say record, not like, you know, camera or something, but like actual apps where you can screen record your phone to record gameplays of games, uh, tutorials, and stuff like this. So um, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. And subscribe if you want more top fives or tutorials like this. I don't really actually this isn't even a tutorial. But yeah, let's break this top five down and let's get right into this. Number five um, is going to be Rec or REC. Now Rec is the current screen recorder that I'm using. And before I start explaining things about this app, you will need root for this app. The other uh, couple apps, you won't need root for those people who are looking for screen recorders that don't have root in their phone or are not able to root their phone. So let's get right into this. So Rec is a basically like a professional screen recorder, basically like any screen recorder, but it, it gets the job done for screen recording. It's simple, quick, fast. You can record at what quality you want. So, yeah, in the settings, um, you know, you're able to choose your storage location, which is actually great. So if you have an SD card and you, you don't want to take up so much space when you're recording, you can use your storage location to that SD card. So let's say since my SD card has 30 gigabytes, if I record a video for like an hour or something, it's I, it's the space. It's going to uh, it's my phone's going to run out of it of my internal storage, but my external won't because my SD card has such a big space. But the problem is if I I can upload it from there. But if I decide to edit into my video editor, as you guys know, I use KineMaster. It's going to re-encode it because it only al allows it up to 720, even though the video I recorded is already in 720, which really doesn't make any sense. And you, and when it re-encodes it, it has to like, it ha it takes up space in your internal storage because for Kind Master it doesn't have an option to change your storage to the external. But enough about that. You can also choose a countdown for what time you want to start your recording, like five seconds, ten seconds. Like usually I put fifteen because once I start uh, recording, I get fifteen seconds to like get get the app started or the game plays that I do, especially Pokemon and stuff like that. You can also auto rotate, um, show your touches when you're recording. So when you click on it, you you can see which uh, where this there's the circle that you can move around. And you can also minimize it and uh, notifications. You you could you have a lot of things to mess around. And for recording, I do shake. Basically, I shake my phone to stop my recording. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying because when I shake to stop it, you might hear like a noise. It's it's like your mic gets muffled or something. I really don't know why. You can also do, I also do screen off sometimes, but I'm so used to the shake. So right here, you can do your different sizes, your bit rate, your duration for how long. I usually just put it like one hour because I don't record that long. You can turn off, you can turn off and on your audio and your, you can name and you could start recording. So that's about it about rec. That's actually what I'm using right now. So yeah, let's get right into the number four. Uh, app, I guess. Number four is Game Screen Recorder. Now, this is a free screen recorder that you can get on the uh, Play Store for free, and it does not need root. Now, the thing I like about this app is you can actually add a face cam, and there's a bunch of things you can do in the settings. You could you different. Uh, you could fit your device's screen for resolution. Your frame rate can be different. You can record your audio on. Your front camera or not. Um, sorry about that security notice. You can do a lot of things. And there's some time. Of course the time delay or countdown. Orientation. Cover, like show touch. And boost game and recording. Which actually helps a lot. The only thing about video location is. When I tap it. Like I can't seem to change it. I, I wish. I hope in the future. You can actually, actually change it. So I could put it in my SD card. Now the cool about thing is. The, this says can record app you that's like usually it automatically see uh pops up or puts the apps there that you could record but you could also click add 
and you can just add the apps that you have and then you can record it from there and once it is you just click on one of these apps and it will start recording now your videos will be saved down here in the section down below that says video which is really helpful and you know it's really good for recording face cam I don't know reaction videos no lag at all it's a great screen recorder I recommend it uh, using it if you guys don't have a uh, root uh, if you're not able to root your phone so yeah uh, let's get right into the uh, third spot Three is AZ screen recorder now if some some of you guys if you guys have known me for a long time um, I've I used to use this app a long time ago to record my reaction videos now it's gonna start off with a box like this that you can move around the middle if you see the gear that is the settings where you can change what you want um, your controller type can be a bar or a bubble, basically the interface of what it is. Uh, a magic button is basically, it's if you look at the top right corner where my time is, if you turn it on, basically you can pop, but you can tap on that corner. You'll see a box when you record it, but it won't pop up in the video. You tap there to pause and you double tap it to stop recording. Now, of course, you can have different stop option, your resolution from different choices. Uh, you can do different uh, stop options, frame rate, orientation, times. You can also do time lapse. This is actually a good screen recorder because you could actually time lapse your video. And what else? Your output directory. You could also change to your external SD card, which is really good. So uh, I'm going to click that. Um, yeah, so it's it's real. It's a really good uh, screen recorder. This camera on the green is your take a picture, and the red on the set left side is your screen uh, to start your screen recorder. And of course, it's on the top here, but I'm using Purifier, so it's not in the notifications of it. But it does work fine. Um, I rec I could al I also recommend you guys using this screen recorder app if you don't have Root, and it also has a face cam, and it's for free. So, and yeah, basically, it, it's kind of similar to Game Screen Recorder, except you, you can remove the, you can change your storage location to your SD card, and more, uh, I think, um, you can, and it has a time, la time lapse option, which is really, really unique to this app. So, yeah, let's get right into number two. Number two is Mobazine. Now, of course, I had to download a different app called Mobazine for... Uh, Samsung because um, it it, uh, it my phone is a Samsung it's not like a different Android phone okay uh, okay uh, this is basically it's setting up right now while it's loading sorry about for saying me uh but yeah it has to rec record it so uh, see it even says like tap here to s resume whatever this is the air circle right here you can record there, circle menu, you can check your video and settings, and you can also close it. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of things. Um, let's, let's open this. Uh, I think we can click settings here. Now, if we click settings, you can choose your video settings. Uh, you can do clean recording mode, sound, uh, your air circle option. Is basically you can put your own logo, the transparency of it. You can change to how dark or light you want it to, and then um, you could also show your uh, watermark. But the thing is, like I think it's lower quality if you do. It very similar. There is no root for this either. It's simple, just like the other last two apps that I showed you guys. So yeah. Um, that's about it. So let's get right into the last recording app. So coming at number one is Shao or Shu. I really don't know how you pronounce it. Now, of course, you have to sign up with an email. Of course, this is my emails. Um, you know what it is. So I'm just going to put my... Um, I'm going to sign up. Of course. So you don't know my... I'm, I'm just going to skip this. Us next, so yeah, basically you can do, you can do your live you can do live recordings on here, get a few views and talk with people. You can record the games that are available here. If you click on the co corner right there, uh, you can uh have to allow shout. 
And basically, you can choose your title of your video, choose your game from the one or apps that you have that you want to record. Uh, there's a lot of things, the settings, the orientation. Um, basically, it's kind of like not Twitch exactly, kind of kind of kind of similar, but not really. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys to show. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as I said earlier. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.